Hi everyone and welcome along to today's video. Been asked about the solar panels, you've seen them up there on my roof when I've been doing the old seagull saga stories and I've been asked do they make any money, are they worth it? Well I've got a 4 kilowatt system up there which is a standard size roughly about, there are smaller some slightly bigger and it creates on a good sunny day like we've had recently in the summertime up to 4 kilowatts of power which is pretty high I can tell you. <laughs> now I belong to a system called the feed in tariff which was introduced by the government to get people to take up on solar panels. So I have had mine eight years and I didn't get as good a rate as I would have got if I'd have got them earlier. So a lot of people that got their rates earlier but paid more for their panels which was why it was more. Some people paid 10, 12,000 pound for their panels but they did get a good rate of 24p I'm not sure if it actually went up to 28 when it was first started but they got a good rate back and that's because their outlay was rather large now my outlay, uh, outlay, outlay <laughs> was a lot less than that 3,500 that's much better isn't it and I got 16p for mine but that's because I say mine were a lot cheaper by that time so at that rate have I made any money? Yes I can tell you I have. Now in the five years I paid the three and a half thousand back in the generated electricity so that was pretty good and I've made steadily there on in and because summer seemed to be getting a little bit better and longer and especially this year when the, the sun has been out and shining gloriously through the summer um, I've made more than ever so I have to average it out over a year because in the winter time they make nothing, you know, I mean in a sort of cloudy dull day I'd be lucky to make 250 watts which is pretty terrible but obviously weather like we've been getting this summer I'm making well. Now the other good thing that happens is the meter stops turning and moving once you've generated your own electricity while it's coming on and what they do the electricity company is they split the figure in half so if I make 4 kilowatts, which we say today, um, I'll only get paid for 2 because the company assume that I'm using the other 2 kilowatts. So during the day then that means my meter's not spinning around because I'm not using any off the grid. I'm actually using my own electricity and that does mean it's great to put that to good use during the daytime. So if you've got a things like washing to do, drying, things that use a lot of electric a lot of people have got these outside jacuzzis they take a lot of power and you could use it to power those a friend of mine's got a swimming pool he uses it to kind of heat that to keep it going and not use so much power off the grid so it's very handy in both these ways but if you're asking me straight how much money I've made off the government um, I say I probably this year would have made probably about 800 pound a year it's been getting more and more steadily higher because for some reason the weather's getting better. <laughs> so I get paid in four payment instalments. And so every three months I get a payment for that. But I say, the other good thing is this fact that during the day you're using your own electricity and you're putting some back in the grid and that's where you make the money. So it's best to use that electric during the day if you can. Is it worth it? Yes, it certainly is. Now, just before I go, one other thing. A neighbour of mine across the road who's moved in recently has just had a battery system installed. You know, installed by an electric company called Octopus. I think they're fairly well known. And he's got a 4K array up there. And he's saying he's doing very well as, at the moment because of the good sunny weather. Now, he has a computer to work out the best times of day to sell that back to the electricity company. So you pick your electric company wisely because they're going to offer you a rate that they're going to pay you it back. The government doesn't pay you anything. You, you sell it back to the electricity company you're signed to. And he tells me that of lately, while that sun's been shining, he's been making £12 a day. That's not bad, is it? So, yes, if you're thinking of solar, things you've got to think about obviously winter time doesn't make next to nothing but you've got to think about whether you're staying for the long period so if you're going to stay in your home and you're going to stay for a good 10 years 
you will easily get your money back and why. But if you are thinking of moving in three to five years, then don't do it because you're only just going to get your money back and then you're going to let someone else have the money if you leave the panels there. And that's the option. So with solar panels, for the long term, yes. For the short term, no. <laughs> it's swings and roundabouts like everything but I actually like them and uh, I, I just love the fact that the old meter stops dead when I'm making it <laughs> but that's it all right I know you want to know about that one so you uh, make your own mind up about solar panels it's they're entirely up to you and today's market and how it works with batteries today okay that's it though all from me see you next time next video bye bye